a custom font can really transform how our app feels. So in today's video, we will see how to integrate custom font in our Flutter application in just few simple steps. Ready? Let's go. First thing first, choose a font that you love. You can head over to fonts.google.com or use any custom font file that you have. Flutter supports three font formats. First one .ttc which is open type font collections. Second one .ttf which is true type font. And third one .otf which is open type font. So make sure the font that you are using is in one of those formats. And for this demo, I will be using this Poppins font. So let's get this font, download it, allow. Okay, let's unzip it. Okay, and now let's get this font into our Flutter project. I have created a new Flutter project and open in Visual Studio Code. Now let's create a new folder in the project's root directory called Assets. And under that folder, let's add another folder called fonts where we will be adding our new fonts. And let's grab the TTF file that we have downloaded from the Google fonts into this directory. Okay, our fonts file have been added. And now it's time to tell the Flutter about our new font. And for that purpose, let's open up the pubspec.yaml file. And over here, we need to specify our font details under this font section. Right now it's commented, so let's uncomment this section. And under family, we have to specify the font name, which should be unique. And in our case, it's opens. Okay. And using the asset option, we have to specify the font path from the project's root directory. So let's specify that asset slash fonts. Okay. Opens regular TTF. We have added bold as well as italic font as well. So let's specify those details as well. Let's copy this path, paste it, italic, and we can specify the style or the font using the style option like this style italic. Let's do that for bold font as well. Okay, let's copy this path, paste, bold, and using the weight option, we can specify the weight of the font. And here the number should be between 100 to 900. While specifying all these details in the popspec.yaml file, make sure the indentation is right. Okay. Let's hit save to save our changes. And we have successfully integrated our font in our Flutter project. Now let's see how to use it. Now let's apply this font to our whole application. And we can do that by specifying the font family under the theme section in the material app widget like this font family and we have to specify the same name that we have used in the pubspec.yaml file let's copy this paste it over here and now let's run our application to see how it's looking our application is getting launched on ios simulator our application has been deployed on the ios simulator and as we can see our font has been applied we can also apply this font to a specific widget. And for that purpose, let's remove this font from over here. Okay. Let's go down. Let's supply this font to this text widget. Okay. Let's specify the font family over here. Let's copy the name from popspec.yaml file. Paste. And let's apply font weight as well. Maybe 600 hit save and as we can see our font has been applied to this text only okay so this gives you flexibility to mix and match styles whenever needed and even after following these steps if your font doesn't show up then don't panic here is a quick checklist first make sure the font files that you have added in your project are either ttc or ttf or otf second while specifying the details in the pubspec.yaml file, make sure the indentation is correct and double check the path that you have added in the pubspec.yaml file. And that's it. You have given your app a brand new look with a custom font. I hope you found this video helpful. Hit like and subscribe for more awesome Flutter content. And let me know in the comment section below which custom font you are using. 
and until next time keep coding keep learning and i will see you in the next video happy coding